hello hello guys uh today let's talk about the mosfet but i won't go deep i just want to show you some steps and some tricks on how to check if the mosfet is shorted or not but anyway let's start with the explanation what are, are the mosfets it's simple guys the mosfets are switches they are just switches they are there to allow power to pass from one side to another to another side that's all they are just there to act as switches allowing power to flow from one side to another side only if it's being told or instructed to do so anyway uh, here you will see a dot on the mosfet there will be a dot and in, and in our case this is a dot the dots represent the number it means it's number one meaning from this dot this pin is pin number one and this is pin number two and this is pin number three all of these three pins are connected together and this one the fourth one it's separated this one it acts as a gate it's more like an instruct okay it's telling this is the the pin telling this chip this mosfet to allow power or not it's get the instruction from the fourth pin of which we call it a gate and these four pins on the other side they are all connected together let's flip the mosfet so so that you will see this is it okay anyway let me uh, show you something okay mosfets they have uh, let's go online they have a diode inside okay they have a diode inside MOSFETs have a diode inside and you know what is a diode right a diode it only allows power to flow from one side to another side but only in one direction meaning the power is can't reverse back it only allows power to flow in one direction okay let's view the sign of a mosfet as you can see uh let me show you oh, sorry about that let me show you uh, here we are okay this is a sign this is a sign of a mosfet uh this is a sign of a mosfet as well this is a sign of a mosfet as well but inside the, the, as you can see inside uh, the mosfets there is a diode see the sign there there is a diode hope you can see the sign here we have a diode inside inside the mosfet okay so that's how we'll be able to check if the mosfet is working or not okay and one more thing one more trick if the diode is dead or shorted uh the fourth pin of which i believe is this one then okay let's flip the thing uh okay usually if the mosfet is shorted remember it's pin number one and this is pin number two pin number three pin number three and pin number four pin number four separated from these three pins i told you that's pin number three it's a gate okay so it means this is more like an instructor the gate is an instructor it tells the mosfet to allow power or not uh, okay so what does this mean it means these three pins are not connected with the gate even if you can use a multimeter you'll see that there is no continuity from the from the, the, the pin to the fourth pin there's no continuity at all but if the mosfet is dead there will be a continuity all of them they will be connected the ground the source and the uh, everything will be connected i mean the gate the source and the crane everything will be connected if the mosfet is shorted if the mosfet is dead and one more thing to check for a mosfet uh, we have to touch from one side to another side and i'm getting a value of 90 okay let me show you under the camera uh hope you will see checking the mosfet 
getting a view of of light uh, it's dark though but you will see i'm getting a view of of light okay and if i flip my uh, my probe my multimeter probes you'll see i will get nothing zero why is can't read back it's because there is a there is a diode inside as i was saying there's a diode inside 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 the mosfet and again one more thing before i go another trick to check for a mosfet it's simply just hold it here on top uh remember just touch this tool and then check again for continuity you'll be shocked okay wait it's me that I didn't touch them correct i think that's okay okay wait now let's do it again Okay. Hope. Okay. Let me try to pull it up. So what 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 happen is when you touch this tool and then check for a continuity, there will be a continuity. I don't know why now there's no continuity, but again you have to be careful when you're touching there. Yeah? Let's do it so hard but it's possible as you can see now there's a continuity the multimeter is beeping one way okay let's flip it one more time uh where is it where is it okay here and now there's a continuity let me show you on the camera as well now the, the the thing is shorted now it's shorted but it's not dead okay it's because i triggered the switch i triggered uh, the gate by touching this tool okay now let me, let's disconnect it again do the same thing you touch the tool to see as you can see now it's going back to a value of 90 uh, let me show you again Uh, right as you can see 89 the MOSFET it's working 100% that's how you check a working MOSFET if it's working or not now let's check this one this one is dead this is a dead or this is a shorted MOSFET right remember what I told you about the shorted MOSFET a dead MOSFET they allow power to pass one way whether they should be okay see see even the gate see i'm i'm, I'm even touching the gate the gate is here everything is just shorted see see there is a short everywhere and this way in this one you can't trigger it okay this is pin number one there is a dot pin number one two three four even if you I try to turn it off to so turn off it, it will just make noise one way it's beeping one way one way one way and then before I go again let me give you uh, one more tip on how to check for a MOSFET see here there's a number it says 6414A so the last number of which is 4 it's an uh, even number even number it means this uh, this mosfet it's an n channel mosfet and it's made by alpha and omega see there's the thing ap I, yeah, I think it's ap or something it's made by alpha and omega let's search the number 6414 go online is how you check you search for a mosfet uh, okay six four one four and you say 
MOSFET data sheet. Click here. Yeah, as you can see, AO yeah, Alpha and Omega is made by Alpha and Omega, and it is the N channel MOSFET. All right, uh, it is the N channel MOSFET. You type the number again 6414 on your Google Chrome. You will see. Uh, let me show you. Okay, here. Uh, okay, open. This is the MOSFET. Let me zoom in. Okay, this is it. Hope you can see. And inside, inside the MOSFET, I repeat again, there is a diode, meaning from this point allows power to pass from one direction. From one direction. So when you are checking for a short or checking whether it's dead or it's working, you have to to have one reading on one side and when you reverse your multimeter probe it shouldn't give you any reading okay and this is an n channel mosfet anyway uh, this is it guys uh, okay type the number this was the number that i was typing 6414 most fetch data sheets and they will give you they will give you results anyway um done but before i go please uh press the subscribe button just do it now and yeah sharp sharp